G'day, we're here with Chris Brown, who's Assistant Principal at Montpelier Primary School. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Raf. That's good. Now, you've been involved with the Netball Subcommittee for how long now? Six years since its inception. I went to my first meeting and uh, I got elected chairperson, so wow. six years. At mm. that first meeting, they must have seen leadership in you already. Mm. Yes. Now, what would you say has been the greatest thing of being involved with the Netball Subcommittee in that six years? I think one of the greatest things has been our connection with the State Sporting Association okay. in Netball Victoria, yep. in that um, they've really come on board and identified that we're School Sport Victoria. Um, is really really quite valuable yep. to them with being able to access the students and yep. not only girls as well as boys um, also we've finally got a connection with our National Sporting Association with uh, Netball Australia yep. I think that's been fantastic as well the teachers that have been on board have been you know fantastic at um, promoting the netball as well too so I think that's been great the connection and then what yeah. we've been able to achieve through that right. now you've got a bit of a connection with netball what's that connection you have with netball oh, my connection with netball is i'm passionate about netball i absolutely love it and and both of my daughters play for the vixens and my yeah. eldest daughter plays for australia awesome so they got their talent from oh me of course, of course. no awesome. no their father played football oh. for geelong okay. yep. and um so we didn't get a son we got two daughters so <laughs> uh and i played a bit of netball but i think it right. mainly and what are their names the girls names? i have madison yeah uh yours brown but of course she's robinson now she's married and i have kelsey brown awesome that's great now what would you say has been the greatest achievement that you've seen in the six years with the netball subcommittee i think one of the the, the things that i've really enjoyed is the fact that we've been able to really work on teacher professional development yep. and netball victoria have become you know really helpful in that and they've been able to do some great promotion with that it's hard for us as teachers to do that yeah. but they've been terrific so i think the professional development has been absolutely terrific i think our participation numbers are good though but i think it's more getting it out there and people knowing what's going on i'm really happy with the sporting schools uh right. the, the, the the accomplishments we're doing there that's, that's right fantastic. just just hearing the meeting that netball victoria has 50 schools signed up under the sporting schools in program. term two their goal was 100 for the year they had 30 in term one so they're already at 80 at halfway that's through fantastic. the year it is and we're that very happy fantastic. about that so that's i good. know that netball victoria just talking to them then they really value you guys and value the relationship they have with you as well what would you say to any other sporting subcommittee that we have running with school sport victoria if they're listening right now what would you say to them i think you need to make sure that your members are passionate people and people who are prepared to work yep. um, on your committee and do things and promote netball i think you really do need to have a really good connection with your, your state sporting association and your na national one if you can yep. because they can certainly help you in lots of ways so right. i think that Passion is the most important thing. And we see a lot of that in you. Six years, you're still passionate. We yeah. hope that we're as passionate as you are after six years of being on a subcommittee like this. We thank you for your valuable input, Chris. Thank you and very much. And we Ralph. really want to see and continue to work with you too to make netball such a high level participation in schools. Thank you, Raph. Thank you. Here with Shay Dixon, who's part of the team at Netball Victoria. She's been with them since January. She's part of the Netball Subcommittee, a valuable member of the Netball Subcommittee. And I'm gonna ask her a few questions about the Netball Subcommittee and her involvement. Shay, what would you say has been the best part of being involved with the Netball Subcommittee? I think it's an insight into the role uh, of uh, sport in schools. And particularly for my job as schools coordinator, it gives mm -hmm. me that insight into what schools need from sporting organisation. Great, that's excellent. In your time, which is only been a short time, what would you say has been the greatest achievement that the Netball Subcommittee have achieved together as a group? I think from the meetings that I've sat in and what I've heard, it's the relationship and uh, what that brings to the table and the strength yep. that it gives. Yeah. That's great. I know Chris Brown certainly speaks very highly of yourself and the relationship that Netball Victoria and also um, starting to work with Netball Australia mm. as well, so it's fantastic. We. We really value your contribution and we really value working with you as well. What would you say to a state sporting organisation that is thinking about partnering with School Sport Victoria? I think it's really important. It's really valuable to, for your sport to be involved in schools because that's the starting point and uh, it can only um, improve participation and the strength of your sport. That's great. Yeah, schools with 650,000 young people in schools every day, unless they're wagging of course. Right. Um, it's a great opportunity just to be able to impact schools with any sport and really form their sporting journey. So That's we really right. thank you for your contribution. We look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.